So I have a new strategy that I'm going to share with you, and I want to show you. I'm going to show you the exact code for this too. It's a nice strategy. It's a short strategy, and you see the signal here on the screen. Now, tick pulse is short today, and so I'm going to show you that trade here. So you see tick pulse is short, very narrow range, and um, and then you see yesterday's short trade, very small gain. And so today, um, VIX swing had a long, gap fill had a long, and now we're short on tick pulse. But something strange um, happens sometimes. You see these markets. Um, you see the markets, for example, from this time, 12.05. From 12.05 until 12.51, the high in the NYC tick was less than zero. For 45 minutes, there was more down ticks than up ticks on the New York Stock Exchange of about 3,700 stocks. But the market did not budge, really. From this point to this point, you're talking, you know, two, three points. Two, three point range when you have a net selling and tick thresholds going down to minus 871 and you're only dropping a couple of points. And so um, is this bullish or bearish? Um, this narrow range uh, can sometimes be bullish. But what, what would happen if after 45 bars the market high had not – the tick high had not been above zero? What happens? And so – um, here is the performance summary for the last four years. If you short this market with the $500 stop loss, get out on the close. If the market high, um, the tick high, NYC tick high was below zero for 45 bars straight. And so nice results, $161 average trade profit, equity curve. Not many trades, it's only happened 82 times in four years. And so it's a rare occurrence, and it's strange to see it when it happens, to see that selling and, and no, uh, no price action downward. And so the market's really being propped up, per se. And here's the equity curve. Um, let's look at this periodical returns. And so not, it, it would not have worked in 2017. 26 trades, no matter what, 2016, it, the market just was very low VIX and, and went higher and higher. But it had wor has worked in previous years. And it's worked well the last 12 months and in 2018. And so 20 trades, 66, 62, 50. And so, again, it's just a $500 stop loss. Get out on the close when the tick has been below zero for 45 bars straight. And here is the code for this. If the highest high of data two, the last 45 bars, is less than zero, then we sell short at the market. Set exit on close, set stop loss at 500. And so this is, this is a quick um, analysis of, of what I do during the day as I look at patterns during the day and I come up with strategies. And this is a rare pattern. I'm going to throw this one out there, um, pass it along. It's something that you could trade if you wanted to add to your own trading arsenal. I've, I've, just, um, I've just put this out there, and I haven't tested any more than four years back. And so... Um, it, probably would do better in a bear market, but to see that um, it has done well in a bull market, um, didn't lose much in 2017, that's pretty good um, results for a bull, strong, strong bull market, it still did not lose much, and so this year it's been bullish, and it's been profitable, so um, that's the update for today, is what I wanted to show you on how to add another short signal to your trading toolkit another strategy you can test I gave you the code and I did this because I'm watching tick pulse and we're short and the market won't go down and trying to get further confirmation on what happens when the market does this is this a buy signal or a sell signal and then for the last four years it's been a better sell signal than a buy signal